Welcome back YouTube. Chuck's here. We've got this battery here. It's a 36 volt lithium battery made by Orobi. Now it's got a bad cell. How do you tell that it's a bad cell? Plug it in. Plug it into here. And you'll see it's going red and green. I don't know whether you can see that very well. Maybe you can see it now. See that? That's red and green. So red and green is bad. So one of the cells has dropped itself. Now I only just picked that up. I got a little bit ripped off, but that's life. YouTube channels have to get ripped off sometimes. I don't make anything off this channel. Literally. It's very, I haven't got enough subscribers yet. Um, so, before I open it up, what did I do to get it apart? Well, I used a T15 and these have, and if you, I don't know whether you can see this, yeah, you can see it, um, the center pitting. Now to get that in, you need to put your T15 in without anything on it and using a hammer, give it a good couple of hits, still hold it in position, but make sure that you, before you hit it with the hammer, make sure you've got it in the groove, and make sure it's locked in that position, otherwise you'll break the whole thing. So just make sure you've got it in the groove, make sure you've got some sort of, um, what would you say, buddy, bit of uh, resistance there, then hammer it twice, and then get something with a something like this and undo it. So I got them all out eventually. I only got one that would come out by itself. The rest had to come out that way. Now, the other side I pulled apart using this flat tip. You just gotta be careful because you don't want to wreck, you don't want to hit the batteries if you can help them. Help it. So try and work your way around slowly and break it. So there you go, that's taped on on that end, I'm not going to, I don't know whether I can, yeah I can, just take it off like that, so it comes off at the end with the sticky, so leave that alone. Now, there, here we go again, Ryobi are using 1300s, again, 1300s in their packs. They're charging 200 and something dollars for a pack that is using 1300s. So, what we're talking when I'm talking 1300, I'm talking it's, it gets about uh, 1300 uh, milliamp hours per battery, which which isn't a great lot, and yet they're telling me that this thing's what? What do they say on top? It's a 2.6, or it is 2.6. It's in two in parallel, which makes 2.6. They could have put um, 2000s in and make it a four kilowatt pack. Now, the soldering in here, looks like this has been dropped in water. To me, that looks, it, or it's had a little bit of water internally to it at some stage. So I'm a bit worried about that. Here's a current shunt across here. I don't know whether you can see that. For measuring current, it's got your processor for controlling the, um, where is it? Here's your rig. It must be underneath. Um, what else has it got? Just having a quick look, because I haven't had a look at this yet. Got another sort of um, transistor here, and it's got a, connector here so you need first thing you need to do is disconnect this connector otherwise you'll break it when you try and take the pack out getting the pack out is going to be interesting because i don't know whether they're made to come out bribe you would make them easy to get out especially when you need to get them out to fix them let's see if i can flip that whoa that just popped out of there that's the board even on YouTube you make mistakes and 
sometimes when you make mistakes, you turn it up and you drop the bloody circuit board out. But hey, we're live, pretty much. We're not live, but I can adjust it. But hey, it's unbelievable. This pack is so tightly fitted in. I wonder if there's anything on this side that's causing that. Guys. Whoops, forgot those two two bolts underneath the um, Ryobi sign. It snapped these two down the bottom, the plastic. That's what was holding it in while it was so tight. It's not going to cause any problems, but I thought you guys might want to know. I'll try and pop that in the middle of the video so you can realise that even I make mistakes. Okay, bye. Getting it out is a work of art. You might need two screwdrivers to do this, not just one. I need another flat. Yeah. I prepared this one earlier. No, I didn't. Just grabbed it out. Even on YouTube, you make mistakes, and sometimes when you make mistakes, you turn it up and you drop the bloody circuit board out. But hey, we're live, pretty much. We're not live, but I can adjust it. But hey, it's unbelievable. This pack is so tightly fitted in. I wonder if there's anything on this side that's causing that. Getting it out is a work of art. You might need two screwdrivers to do this, not just one. Yeah. I prepared this one earlier. No, I didn't. Just grabbed it out. I don't know why it's so fucking hard to get out. They must have double sided taped it to the bottom. The only thing I can think of, I'll get rid of that swearing later. I'm allowed to swear on YouTube. I think it's been glued in actually. See, I don't want to break that. Okay, these things are that tight, you've got to come in from one end and lift it. Can't come from the side, so try that, you probably saw it in the video so far. It is that tight, I thought it had some kind of screws in it. Now, straight away, I see where your problem is. On this one, I'm thinking it's this one here. Now they're all bolted together, which I can take apart, which isn't a bad idea. But taking taking these clips off is going to be interesting. Those two batteries will have to be replaced. Oh, what the hell? How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 20 batteries. One, we could replace the whole lot if we wanted to. Or we could just try and stay to the, the game and just do a couple of them. I might take it apart and see what I can do with it. So, yeah, let's see. First thing I'm going to do is see what we've got to play with. I don't know whether you can um, see me multimeter. Bring you in, boys and girls. All right, let's have a look. We can't get to the bottom of this one. So, where is its BMS connection? There, I'd say. No, nothing. There you go. See so that? Let's have a look. Let's bring it up. Okay. I'm using this pad here on the left hand side which connects to the next slot but it's along the central rail so that's not a buzz bar that's actually a link so and if you look on the multimeter it's uh, 3.5 on these ones they're 3.5 as well 3.5 3.5 that one what the hell now it's reading 10 volts, so it must be cutting across the pack there. All right. They're 10.6, 10.6, That one's... Last two are reading 17. So, yeah, I think they're right there. But what have we got this in? Three point five, three point five, three point five, three point five, ten, ten, ten point six, ten point six one, seventeen, seventeen point seven. So I think the pack's actually working. It's a little bit low. There must be something wrong with the BMS. It's the only thing I can think of. What do you guys think? Should we go ahead and furtherly pull it apart and see what we're gonna do? I'm really interested to hear what you guys have got to comment about this. And um, yeah, you can see underneath there, there's actually a little capacitor. So this will be the first video of how to rebuild these, but not very happy with um, Ryobi using crappy 13 cubes. I know they drain a lot, they're good for drain and all the rest of it, but hey, everyone's using 2000s now, mate. Who's going to use these? I'm thinking, I'm wondering whether this actual transistor here is stuffed. But I'm going to have to pull the whole thing apart to see if I can get it to go. Um, looking at it. Hmm, I'm going to have to do a bit of research on this before we go any further, guys. So this is the first one of many. So I picked up the pack cost me $80. Now it worked straight up, but now it's not. Yeah. Anyway, hope you're all having a great day um, at home or wherever you are. You might be out and about having a good day. So, yeah, it's the 14th of March. Yeah. Anyway, catch you on the next one.